welcome to another video to tour by Contips. Um, today this was another request by DJ Anderson 12 who wants to know how to use a program called Sockcast. Now um, it's taken me a while to like sort of get used to this program because it's um, I know, it's kind of weird. It's like a um, online streaming TV thing. So the first thing you'll have to do to do it is you'll have to go to Sopcast.com. Right, and then once you get to the site, you click on um, here. And it'll um, download the program that you need to use. And um, once you've got the program downloaded, you just install it like you normally do, like you do any program, and then start for the first time. And then um, you'll be asked to log in. So um, what you do is create an account, click on that, and it'll take you to the sign up page. It's putting all your stuff there, all your details and stuff click I agree and you'll be sent a confirmation email I think um, you might activate your account and then you can just log in on here and then once it's done logging you in and you'll see a window like this um, now the what the way I've been doing it I'm not sure if it's technically the right way to go to the live channels and then you've got a list of channels down here um, this blue bar on the right is the signal strength of it so how fast it's going to load and stuff so you can see here it tells you what media type it is and how long it's going to be in signal quality how many people have watched it and stuff and then you just double click on it you get this window pops up at the side and you've got to wait for it to buffer but here it says um, this channel is offline now so um, if it's offline then you won't be able to watch it so you could choose a different one like this one but um, for some reason they all seem to be foreign I don't know why you could um, when you signed up because you can log in on here you could probably go to the forum over here and you could um, ask some people about it so there's a channel set up support English channels, here you go sports this if you want sports like um, this guy did here, you can watch football on it here you got all the different things so let's just say sky sports get rid of that and you can just uh, and you see here we got motor gp on this So yeah, if you've got any like um, questions or anything, then um, just go over here and you can um, find out how to do stuff. Um, it's a fairly active community, I haven't really used it too much, but you should be able to get any questions you need answered. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've managed to find out about it. There's um, 
you can create your own servers and stuff and put your own like preferred channels on and stuff but um, I don't know for some reason they all seem to be like foreign apart from a couple of them um, you just have to test it out oh English movies these are new ones I haven't seen these ones before um, golden compass this little thing here it shows the buffer size so as this goes up um, it's better so it's just like how much it's loading of the movie how much it's buffered of the movie or whatever then once it gets to a decent enough size up to 100% and for some reason the pitch is not showing up let's try meet the Spartans let's let it buffer here you can see the movie's been playing here I don't know whether you'll actually be able to hear it I shouldn't really be showing you that, it's uh, against copyright. But yeah, if you can, if you just have a look through here, there'll be some stuff that you'll be able to find on there of um, sports and stuff. And if you can't find what you need, then there's always something on um, the forums that you can go check out. It's free to register on the forums. You just go onto the forum page here. Scroll down somewhere there we go, register and it's register on here like, I agree blah 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 um, another thing that I'll show you quickly because um, this wasn't really much one because it's um, kind of weird to use that, I've never really seen that before and it's um, a bit strange is there's a release of Internet Explorer 8 now, it's the beta one and to be honest it's exactly the same as Internet Explorer 7 but with a couple of different slightly unnoticeable interface changes like um, instead of on Internet Explorer 7 like instead of having everything like this you've got these bits on a separate thing these aren't there these file edit view aren't there at all your favorites are on their own bar and you've got bookmarks on there as well and then tabs on the separate row and stuff like that and it's um, nothing special to be honest I don't know why everyone's going on about it but if you want to have a look at it you can just go to this website here Microsoft website just click download now and you can just test out if you want to it's not really special Firefox is a lot better um, I think that's actually about it. Um, sorry, it wasn't as good as um, I hoped it would be, but um, I'll be bringing you some more um, tutorials soon, hopefully. And um, yeah, see you um, next time. And remember to subscribe and rate my videos. Cheers.